Kole ngambulo luku With whatever we do Dio ni safu no la With whatever we do Hale yidemu ni skula Nye pamne ne kudlukula Nye pangi raga la gena Nye pamne ne kudlukula Ibulo ke nungoto ni beti sola Ibulo ke dato ni beto do Bengi Bengi kongo Lamin Na Lamin 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 Fabrama, <laughs> Bari jamba ni vana naro mudo wala mudo wala Mkoto mina haka nga lami nje fumfili tala Lami jive nori nyala Lami nje sira wansa wana ebengi ye Yala so utoli saini nao ebongo mwola kumomo Mkoto Naam Itiri nte alo ne lami nha kilo di hata bake karamungoto Anu saini ng Ministeri kwa di nungole si suwa kwa Ama ke kwa nungole di nungole Si bitu Si bitu Si bitu Si bitu Si bitu Ala nje Ala nje kukede Nemo balo Ala nje na kosa Ina karna hapulo be damina Ala nje Mkoto Naam Mkoto mong kontan Feren 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 Jamba ni mune keda Ifi ke lami nki ulo kono nyin tae mongkoto Fete malo lami nyan te sila la Bela mwe kala karamu Jamba ni karamu olbe soro nene ko Fasi ta ulo kono ko Baba Aa karamu olma soro Iko karamu olbe soro nda Ama ke kom holi di elem Mkoto Di nungo nyan te sila la Ala karamu olama Yame nka benfue Mang kontan de, mang kontan anda mandi. Allah yang kumbu kurang, anda dah lakukan bulan dua lagi yang karam mual seorang dari orang. Kami kurang marah dari lakukan bu. Itu untuk orang yang karam mual seorang jadi karam mual seorang. Lain ada orang lori nol lalu. Aman cara fena suhun. Ada mana kela? Am, lain. Ia fena malam kau lepas nol dekat kar radio. Ngapain, ngapain. Ikan yang ada mual lain. Ngapain, ngapain. Ia mana fanya? Kami mina kan, kita mita, kita mita teri maning. Fatu. Ha. Kita mita lepas suhun. Ada di nol bebe siri bela moika. Ah, faru dance orang mana kita mula jalan ini subuh lah, dengan aje dini mula berjet, jalan tanding kilo warol. Ah, ibe sering jalan. Saya lamin faru nanti kuki lima kilo nola bang, but lamin bila kau ulo kono nyin time mu, alami. Aman jero fenna lah. Ite ni ite dini aku, ni masih ya kari lesu nola mai raja tu ibalon na. Muna kaki, afon lemba nyara nindi alam. 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 Muna kaki, af Pari nyara ndi Kombo kura wangu fi ndira kombo Ile nara yedi ni nisonka baya Kwa lami ni manyata la ulo kwa Rukara mwole besoro Afo nye mbebe kwa Nkoto wa wale nati Bawa ngale nye lami Kuntala Kombo kura wangu Ikafo mewe kombo kura wangu Asototale Asototale wala kine Kwa yi sisu wakono Bari ni kwa yi sisu wakono Ibe Ibe kara ngol dike la rajo Ni ntele lto Hani tele masoto Tonya ya mantele soto ila bunga Bari rajo be bule nkoto Bati risa nga I see I alamu Sa abeo kela nyadi Kwa 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 Kamu kenyari. Rajo abu ulama ulai. Ibu mana falaje? Ibu nak karam dinol kala jele. Tidak lebih rajo korang mana karam dinol? Ah, ilah subjek tu lebih baby jele. Ibu baby jele. Ulama nak cuci cuci mui. Fadhan saya ulia. Muka mana kita mungkin nak dinol jebe? Ika dum bungkuk dekat kalau malam. Asal tu tarde. Lain malam kita rawal de. Bari. Love tu alal. Idea longko. Inde every year second one lah four. Muna hari kedua dia. Aku nak go follow lesin lamba. Nde lesin lola naba. Basa emba foke ungkoto. Wole fango ya ungulindi. Ya lo farmo kita. But you farm bulat aku alko dan maye nati jambi. Lami ni nta karana, nte lbeji kobe njine ka Ya bula ya kara, ulo kano taa kilari ya bambalo Yo be bula je mkoto, dindi ngoy si ayala Ayala le sinu la moe rajot Wada ka munda karamuwa mansoro, lami ni nta kara si suwa Lami ni nta sila le ayala le sinu Ntani kokoro na kosma lo Kilari ya mbambalo Mbambi nta kuma mwe Saye mbambi nta kuma mwe 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 Mbambi nta Teku, teku. Tapi orang kau faham ke? Eh, jangan. Emak je, mana yang nyambut? Ha. Si Zol nak je, kisah kisah mana si Zol? Nol, nol nak kafung kafung kan nyawa. Baru nyambut kira ni mana nak kafin? Ni nampak korang sorla jang. Ni nampak korang sorla jang. Angan lelim bete ada banyak nyambut do di lana. Jangan ni korang ini pernah. Jangan nara, jangan nara. Kotor. Baru faham ke dah? Eh, nara bungkon, tapi bungkon. Kami bungkora, kami bungkora. Jalan dengan dua kau file. Kau kerja baru ngan nanti pelol anda jah. Iya, ada cerita baru bungkora. Bismillah. 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 Ye fomo tangkai si nado lu tangka. Hey, hey, hey. Koro, koro, koro da. Hey, koro.
Hello, viewers and listeners. My name is Abdullah J.S. Job. I want to take you through science LBS. And our topic today is plant. Living things, these are things that have life. They are things that have life. Those things that have life or living things they are animals or plants. Living things are either animals or plants. And living things, they have seven common things that qualify them to be a living thing. Those common things that they see are, each living thing must possess them. As we said earlier, one of them is food. All living things need food in order to survive. The next one is movement. All living things move. The third one is sense. All living things have sense. Sense to response, to actions or situations. The fourth one is growth. All living things grow. Be it animals, be it plants, they grow from one stage to another. That is from small to big or from baby to adult. The fifth one is reproduce. All living things, they reproduce. That is, they get young ones. They produce young ones are like them. Then the sixth one of the common is breath. All living things breathe. That is, they take in air. Be it a plant, be it an animal, we all take in air. Although we take in different air. Then the seventh one is excrete or excretion. All living things excrete, that is they leave, they, they, they remove unwanted substances from their body. Be it animal or plant, we must, they must have this in order to be qualified to be a living things. So the one among these we are going to concentrate today is food. That will bring us to our topic, plants as producers. How do plants make food? That is our topic today. It will bring us to the answer to give us plants as producers. Plants make their own food. We said, now the question is, how do plants make food? We all know plants are living things, as we said, and they need food in order to survive. But how do they make food? Plants make their own food using water and minerals from the soil, carbon dioxide from the air, and light energy from the sun. These are the four things that the plants use in order to make their own food. Plants do not obtain food from animals or or other plants. They can make their own food. And that is why we call them producers. That is why we call them producers. Like in our notes here, all organisms, we said, both animals and plants need food to survive. That's quite true. Green plants such as grass and trees make their own food. Plants and grass do not obtain their food from animals or from other plants. And because of this, green plants are called producers. Now, let's look at the plant proper. This is an example of a plant. Plants are trees and grass. This is an example of a plant that is a popo in a nursery pot. We want to look at the main parts of the plant. 
the main parts of the plant is what we are going to look at. Let's remove the plant from the nose report and see what is inside. This is the plant. You can see it has so many parts. But the ones that we are going to concentrate on are going to be the ones that are going to help the plant to make its food. This one is a leaf. When it is one, like we said, singular and plural, when it is one, is L-E-A-F. One. When it is more than one, we say L-E-A, change the F to V and then add S, leaves. Leaves. So we're going to look at how the leaves, how the leaves help the plant to make food. And between the roots, between the roots and the leaves, that long trunk you have there or lock is what we call the stem. It's what we call the stem. If it is more than one, then you can add as it becomes stems. Then the part of the plant in the soil, like when, I, when it was in the pot, we could not see it. Now this is the part of the plant that was in the pot. We call it, when it is one, we call it a root. R-O-O-T. When it is more than one, then we add S, it becomes roots. These are the three main parts that we are going to look at. And they are the ones that help in green plants to make their own food. No matter how big the plant is or how small a plant, the plant is, they, it, they have, it has these three functions. Now we're going to look at them one after the other. We say major parts of a plant and functions, particularly the parts of the plant that helps to make food. The first one on the line is leaf. A leaf of a plant makes food for the plant. It takes in carbon dioxide for the plant. It gives out oxygen and water for the plant and it also may store food. How do the leaf make food for the plant? They, if you look at the leaves, most of the leaves, they have green substance inside them, or green pigment inside them. That green pigment in the green leaves is what we call chlorophyll. C-H-L-O-R-O-P-H-O. Y L L chlorophyll. This chlorophyll inside the leaves traps or collects this light energy from the sun and store it in the leaves. The water and minerals from the soil will also transport will be transported through the by the roots through the stem to the leaves where it will be combined, the chlorophyll will be combined with water to make it into sugar. The carbon dioxide, it takes in carbon dioxide. We said earlier on all living things breathe. Not so. Yes. It's one of the characteristics or one of the common things that all living things see. And plants are living things. So the type of air that the plants take into their system is what we call carbon dioxide. They take in carbon dioxide into their system. The carbon dioxide is used into all parts of the plant, right from the leaves to the roots. 
Then finally, it will give out oxygen and water. The oxygen that we animals are breathing in is given out by the plants. So this, that is why most of the time, when it is hot or the place is not convenient, we sit under the trees. We exchange gas. They give us oxygen. We breathe it in and we give out carbon dioxide of which the plants need. They will also take it. The fourth one is may store food. Some of the leaves may store food. Can we think of leaves that gives us food? Almost all the leaves in general are food for, us, for animals. It depends on the selection of type of leaves that you need. The leaves type that we eat include cabbage, lettuce, sorrel, etc. Other animals also feed on leaves of other crops, like the leaves of groundnuts, the maize leaf, etc. So this is one of the functions of a leaf that will help the plant to make food for itself. The root. The root holds the plant firmly in the soil. It is the roots that helps to stock or to, 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 to stick these plants into the soil. That is why we said it holds the plant firmly in the soil. The root also takes water and mineral salts from the soil. When water is poured around a plant and manure is being applied, it all goes into the soil. We do not water the plant on the leaves, neither on the stem. We water around the base of the plant and the water will get into the soil. These roots will collect this water and mineral salts from the soil and transport it to the leaves through the stem of the plant. Right? The third one, root, a root may store food. Here we mean some of the roots of plants are food. Not so? Can we think of roots that are food? Yes. Let's name them. One could be cassava. Yam. Potato, etc. So you can see sometimes roots serve the plant and at the same time they serve us as food. The next one is the stem. The stem is part of the plant between the roots and the leaves. This is the stem of the plant. One, the stem holds up the leaves and the flowers and fruits of a plant. It is the stem that raises the leaves, the flowers, and the fruits high above the ground of the plants. Another function of the stem is it carries water and mineral salts from the roots to the leaves. It is the mediator between the roots and the leaves. And if you can see, it is found between the roots and the leaves. So therefore, if the roots collect the water, if the root or roots collect the water and minerals from the soil, then it will pass it onto the stem and the stem will transport those nutrients to the leaves of the plant. The stem does not only stop there, but the stem also carries food around the plant. Stem may also store food. A stem of a plant may store food, or we say some stems of plants serve as food. Are you with me? Good.
Can we think of stem that we can what that we can eat or stem that we eat? An example of a stem that we eat is what? Uh-huh. Is sugar cane. Sugar cane. Is a typical example of a stem that serves as a food. Then we move to the next one. We say, therefore, green plants make their food using water, like I said earlier on, and water, water and minerals from the soil, carbon dioxide that is in the air, and light energy from the sun. The green substance in plants called, is called the chlorophyll, that is, what, that is the one that I explained earlier on, the reason why the most of the leaves are green is because of that chlorophyll. The green color or green pigment in the leaves called the chlorophyll, this collects the light energy. From where? From the sun. Then it combines the water and carbon dioxide to make it into sugar so that the plant can use it as food. And this process of making or manufacturing food by plants is called photosynthesis. It is called photosynthesis. The process of plants, how the plants make their food, that process is called photosynthesis, P-H-O-T-O-S-Y-N-T-H-E-S-I-S, -E photosynthesis. During the process, oxygen is also produced and some passes out of the leaves. Like I said earlier on, the leaf takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen. So therefore, the oxygen is produced and some of it passes out of the leaves. The leaves, the stem, and the roots of a plant, they all help the plant to produce food. They all help, they all help the plant to produce food. Not only the leaves that make food for the plant, not only the roots that make food for the plant or the root, the stem alone makes food for the plant. But collectively, three of these major parts working together, hand in hand, makes, make food for the plant. Here is an exercise that we are to do. Number one says, draw a green plant and label a leaf, stem, and a root. If we were to draw a green plant, we can roughly draw it like this. If we are to label this, this is going to be leaf. The next one is asking a stem. This is going to be the stem. And this one is going to be the root. Number two. Study the plant diagram below. The arrows represent what goes into the plant and what comes out of the plant. Study the plant diagram below. The arrows represent what goes into the plant and what comes out of the plant. Let's look at the plant. You label the arrows using the following. Now we are going to label the arrows using the words that are provided. The words are water, carbon dioxide, minerals, sunlight energy, and oxygen. It would be funny if you look at the plant, the arrows on the plant, they are four, and we have words that we are to put in. Do you see that? Yes. Now, if that is the case, then two of the words have to go into one arrow. If that is the case, two of them will go onto one arrow. We start with the first one on top. There is something shining red. What do we think it is? We believe it is the sun. We believe it is the sun. Which among these do you think is coming from the sun? Then we will agree that it is going to be the sunlight energy. It is going to be the sunlight 
energy. It's going to be the sunlight energy. Do we all agree? Yes. Then there is an arrow coming out from, a, from the leaf. The arrow is coming out fr from the leaf, pointing out. This is showing that something is coming out from the leaf. That arrow is telling us that something is coming out of the leaf of the plant. Which among these four, the water, the carbon dioxide, mineral, sunlight, energy, and oxygen, which among them do you think is coming? Mm -hmm. So we earlier said on, plants, they also breathe. So they take in what? They take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. Therefore, the, this leaf, the arrow on the leaf, is indicating what is coming out, what type of gas is coming out of the leaf, which is no other thing than the oxygen. So that arrow pointing out is the oxygen. Then we move to the next one. There is an arrow pointing to the leaf again, which is asking us what is taken among these into the leaf. Which among these is taken into the leaf? That is the water, carbon dioxide, minerals, sunlight, and oxygen. We said when the plant is exchanging air, it takes in what? We now know that it is giving out oxygen. So what does it take in among this? It is the carbon dioxide, C-A-R-B-O-N-D-I. O X I D E carbon dioxide. Now we have labeled oxygen, we have labeled carbon dioxide, we have labeled sunlight energy. So we are left with two, and there is only one arrow, and there is only one arrow. Okay, there is only one arrow, and this arrow pointing at the root. It is asking, which among these do the roots of a plant take in? Earlier on, we said water and minerals are absorbed from the soil. By what? They are absorbed by the root. So once they are there, then we all agree that this one is water and minerals. We all agree that this is going to be water and minerals. Going back to the whole plant, we say sunlight is given to the plant, sunlight energy is given to the plant by the sun. The oxygen is going out because it has taken into the system the carbon dioxide which is used by the system in the body, in the, in the, in the plant, and finally the product of that carbon dioxide is going to be oxygen. It comes out. Then in the roots, the roots, the function of the roots here, the main part function of the roots here is to collect water and minerals from the soil, of which this arrow is indicating. So this is, the, this is the exercise that we are uh, we to do. The next one, number three, is saying, once we have done all this, now it's asking, which part of the plant makes food? Which part of the plant makes food? If we are to answer the question, we earlier on said the part of the plant that makes food is the leaf. So therefore, if somebody asks you which part of the plant makes food, your answer is the leaf. Good. Number four, why are plants called producers? Why are plants called producers? Okay, plants are called producers simply because they make their own food through the process of photosynthesis using 
water and minerals from the soil, carbon dioxide from the air, and sunlight energy from the sun. Because of this, plants are called producers. Number five, the green substance in leaves is called what? The green substance in leaves is called dusters. One word answer. We earlier on said the green substance in the leaves is called chlorophyll. C-H-L-O-R-O-P-H-Y-L-L. -L. Chlorophyll is the green substance or green pigment in the leaves. That's the end of our lesson. But before we go home, I have an assignment. That is going to be our assignment number one. Before our next lesson, I want you to answer these three questions for me. So that come our next lesson, lesson two, we will look at the answers together. Number one, state two functions of a stem. State two functions of a stem. From our, from our explanation, you should be able to give two functions of the stem. That is the part of the plant between the roots and the stem. Number two, what is the name given to the way in which green plants make food? What is the name given to the way in which green plants make food? Here, if I should explain a little bit, I would say, what is the name given to the way? Or what is the process of plants making food called? That's one word. You try that one. Number three, name two plants that may store food in their roots. Name two plants that may store food in their roots. Here, I mean... To further explain, name two plants that may store food in their roots means two plants whose roots are serving us as food. Give me two plants. Right? You understand it? Right. Thank you. Bye for now until we meet once again. Thank you.